some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Arizona with a brand new frauditor who, well, just doesn't have two uh, brain cells to rub together to call a brain and takes up frauditing for the first time and, well, finds out that frauditing isn't easy and winds up with some felony charges and the possibility of five years in prison for these various felonies. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Other boys with videos, let's go. <sighs> Party poopers are here. <sighs> Let's see. Golf. 848 Hector Lima. 4004. We got 4048. Mike November Alpha 8 Foxtrot Lima. Woo. This looks interesting. What's up? Yeah, you can go f*** yourself. This is plain view doctrine, midget. Oh, you've been watching way too many frauditors, dude. I mean, plain view doctrine is not uh, what you think it is. It is really only for the police officers when they're doing an investigation. So unless you're a police officer that is uh, seizing evidence in this particular scenario, then it really doesn't apply to you, uh, you moron. So uh, go back uh, home and play with your little uh, action figures and let the uh, more experienced uh, frauditors uh, do this kind of thing for you because you shouldn't be getting arrested on your first time out. I mean, this was just uh, sheer stupidity. We had problems yesterday. What's your name and badge number? No. There is no law on earth that says I need to be away from your vehicle. You need to protect your sensitive information. Or what? What are you going to do? Wethrell? What are you going to do? We said it incorrectly. Back up. Oh, then how do I say it correctly? Please educate me. Wetherell. There you go. Wetherell rather yep. than the Wetherell. Wetherell. All right. Yeah. that a lawful order? That's a lawful order. Back away from my Yeah. Vehicle. What law is backing up that order? What law? Get away from my car, man. Or what? You're causing a disturbance. Oh, yeah? Who's disturbed? Yeah. Anybody disturbed? Are you feeling disturbed? Are you standing in the middle of the Are you guys feeling disturbed? Okay, you're blocking yeah, the go. Right your f vehicle's yeah. blocking yeah. off Constantly traffic. This is a back. dead end road. How many other dumb f excuses are you going to go for? You're blocking a third. Shut the f I'm not talking to you. So you're what other dumbass excuses are you going for, midget? What happened in your life to make you go down this freaking road? Because you stopped making videos six years ago. Now you're wanting to try First Amendment auditing. Uh, what crawled up your ass and uh, left that stick up there? I mean, uh, inquiring minds want to know what caused this disorder that you have. You're obstructing a thoroughfare. I'm telling you to get on It's right here. Emergency lights blocking it off. Not me. What about you standing right here? If anybody wants to go through here, you're in the way, not me. Well, according to the article that accompanied this video, uh, there was apparently a traffic hazard here that they were responding to, which was blocking the road in front of you. So if you could just, uh, well, shut your mouth off for about two minutes and actually take a look down the road, you might be able to see what's actually going on. So uh, try that instead of acting like somebody pissed in your cereal this morning. Blocking the road. Yeah, really? Who's trying to pass? What traffic am I obstructing? What other dumb f are you going to come up with? You want me out of the way of your door so you can get in? I'll gladly move out of the way. But all this other shit, you're pulling out of your f Are you in the middle of the 
Are you going to leave? Are you in the middle of the road? Are you going to leave? Are you gonna what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Whose peace am I disturbing? Whose peace am I disturbing? Whose peace am I disturbing? That's what you brought up, not me. Yeah, I'd imagine You're pulling all kinds of shit out of your ass, dickhead. Why don't you take care of what you came in here to take care of? Oh, so now you're going to solicit a crime. That is illegal. It's a felony offense against you. Is that like soliciting a trespass? Because if that's what you're trying to say, then you know that's a lot of load of bullshit, right? You can't exactly solicit a trespass. And uh, besides that, I have no idea what you mean by soliciting a crime. It's probably something you pulled out of your ass through, either through a misunderstanding of what other frauditors are saying or something like that. Because this is the first time I've ever heard that term. Right now. You feeling in danger? Why are you walking towards me? Back. I haven't moved, pussy. Why don't you take a step back? Uh, or what? Or I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Yeah? Yes. So you're going to arrest me? I'm or are you just going to detain me? What, what's your lawful reason you're for doing so? Yeah? Then why haven't you done it yet? I need your ID. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, you no, crime, you don't. Your ID. no, you Is don't. Are you no, you don't. No, you don't. Are you refusing to You identify? don't have any f***ing crime being committed here. Oh. Are you stupid or something? Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, you really need to check uh, which states are stopping ID states because, you know, uh, come to find out, Arizona is a stop and ID state. So maybe you should actually pull your head out of your ass and do some actual research because they don't need a crime to ask for your ID in Arizona. And if this was unconstitutional, yeah, they would have uh, done away with it by now. So that would be a rather pitiful argument even if you tried it in this video. Otherwise, you wouldn't have solicited one. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Then yeah. handcuff me. How about you just handcuff me? No, me. you don't have anything to handcuff me for. I'm willing and ready. Yeah, let's get this smile right yeah. here. Let's get this smile right here. Why haven't you detained me yet? Do you, do you want to get? Are you trying? To oh, are you giving me an opportunity? An opportunity. Yeah, we're, we're Give me more to... opportunities. Give me less opportunities. I'm not asking for any. I, I Go take know. care of your business. You dump. Or f nobody here f***ing wants you. Yeah. Nobody here f***ing called for you. Nobody asked no you. Called. Uh, nobody asked you guys here. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, you're kind of talking out of your ass right now because according to the reports, yeah, they were called over here. You just happened upon this scene and made all sorts of assumptions about it. Genius, dude. Genius. Well, actually, not exactly a genius. You're a complete moron. Really? Who called? Who called? Why don't you go talk to them then? Why don't you go talk to whoever called? Then go deal with it. Oh, I'm impeding. I'm destructing. Your ADHD is my problem, huh? You don't have situational awareness? You don't have situational awareness. You don't have an attention to detail. You don't have any discipline? Go handle your job. The only thing you tried to obstruct was me doing this. Plain view f doctrine. What's your problem with this now? Why don't you close your f laptop if it's that big of a f problem? You midget. F oh, now we're back to the original issue. I need to step back, huh? How about I touch your car? How about I touch your car? Look, right here, on camera. On camera. I'm touching your vehicle. Let, what the let me, f let me you ask do you, about you get some kind of enjoyment from what this? The what are you gonna do about it? Arrest me! Detain me! Put me in cuffs, bitch! I think you're just looking for a lawsuit or something? I don't know what his issue is. No, you're looking for excess excessively using your authority. Yeah, pussy! That's what I thought! Walk the away! Hey, uh, by the guy, I'm not talking about you guys at all. I'm not here to you guys, I'm here to with them. Every single one of Well, congratulations, dude. You're an even bigger idiot than I ever thought. Because you just, uh... Explained your intent in the situation for the whole world to see, especially the prosecutors that are going to be taking a look at your case as well as your video. So, dude, you really screwed up in this particular scenario, dude. Maybe you should exercise your Fifth Amendment rights.
if you should be pulling out your cameras, f***ing with them, telling them to the get the f*** out of here. Cops are f***ing welcome. This is the day we earned our f***ing freedoms. You f Oh, you are so damn stupid, dude. This is simply unfathomable that you would actually think that the 4th of July is the actual date that we gained our independence. No, that is far from uh, the facts right there, dude. I mean, come on now. The American Revolution started on April 19th, 1775. Five, and the Declaration of Independence was uh, signed in 1776. Then you still had another seven years of war after that before the Treaty of Paris was signed on the September 3rd of that year, you freaking moron, which is when we really gained our independence. The, because, you know, even though we signed the Declar De Declaration of Independence, we could have still lost that war, you dipshit. Why are you picking at me? Why are you here? Why are you here? What are you doing? Are you going to pull it out? With your puny fucking hands, are you going to pull it out? If you'd been paying attention to your job, none of this would have happened, would it, midget? None of this would have happened, midget! And here comes another f beep, 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 beep. Eight. What's your name and badge number? Why are you f***ing smoking your tires, you f eight. We got another dumb piece of shit that doesn't know how to close his f***ing laptop. Here we go. Hey, you guys, put the shit off Facebook Live. Right, back up from my car. You're welcome. Hey, you touch me again, I'm gonna defend myself. Can Good job. Can I get you anything? Oh, I said. Yeah, touch me again and see what the f happens. You are the one who's not going to do anything. You have to abide by the law more than I do. You know, uh, dude, uh, your choice of words and intelligence in this whole situation has been, well, exceedingly bad. Because what you just said, the f that, that they have to obey the law more than you do, uh, can be interpreted in a lot of ways, especially... One particular way of saying that you are above everybody else and that you don't have to obey any laws. I mean, that's how it can be interpreted. That certainly would make sense for uh, a lot of frauditors how they act because they think they're above the law a lot of the times. Okay, we're trying to get him out. Who him? Me? Oh, okay, no problem. Oh, hey. you're f talking to me get and I'm fucking talking to you. No! <laughs> what are you doing? Well, uh, that's pretty much where the more interesting part of the video ends. From this point on, it's just a bunch of people walking around the camera until it's eventually picked up uh, by the cops. And, uh, and apparently this confrontation right here probably just won them several years in prison. Perhaps upwards of five years in the pokey. I mean, dude, uh, yeah, uh, your ignorance to the law is no excuse and your issues with uh, listening to the frauditors over what the actual law is, is another excuse. And not to mention that your complete misunderstanding of uh, what the 4th of July is all about. It's not about uh, how we won our independence. It's about the Declaration of Independence. How we won our independence happened years later. You really need to read up on your history, boy. Now let's go ahead and move on to the uh, next video. 
uh, where the constitutional state frauditor uh, gets arrested for failure to appear in court. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? We're scramming. Of course, we show up and they run away. All of them. It's the paramedics. We got the cops here still. So they said an accident, occupants. I mean, I'd be scared to have that squad around my car. I'd be scared. You see, late last year, Daniel was arrested for disturbing the peace, and he had a upcoming court date, which he had to cancel due to illness. But he didn't go through the proper channels, so now he has a warrant out for his arrest for failure to appear. But of course, you know, the cops were not going to be sent after him because they knew he would pop his head out sooner or later because they know what he is. He's a frauditor. He can't help but uh, look for the cops. So why not let your enemy come to you? We got a lady right here in the middle that doesn't even know the laws that will arrest you for talking in public. I'm gonna try and get my gimbal out, guys. Got it out, we just gotta start it up, hold on. Get out of the road. Well, we're not really in the road, but... Was she really, though? That's what we need to find out. I'd be scared with these guys on the... So... Hold on, sorry guys, setting the give up. I wouldn't answer either. We are at Stop and Shop in Willimantic. Something about an accident came over. I was on my way home, but my girl was like, take your time. I'm, I'm doing, I'm cleaning and stuff. So I left uh, where the other cop and I heard sirens. So I threw the scanner on and it said, come here. But the craziest part is, is they got this cop over here in the car. Oh, she's not in the car. She's right there. I see it. Thank you, bud. They literally arrest you for talking. I'm surprised they didn't arrest me right now. Ask and you shall receive for what will happen here in a few minutes, and you will be totally shocked about it. But she will. Can't talk. She'll come throw the cups on you. She arrested me without even a complainant. She was the complainant. Arrested me and then lied and said that the people that they were talking to wanted me arrested which was crazy because she didn't even go check what up m keeping the swine in line sasquatch john speedway what up guys i appreciate y'all we're just checking this out making sure it's okay because literally she'll arrest you for anything like literally if i said don't talk right now i know i i wouldn't be answering any questions that's what we gotta do, third person. I learned that from Rogue Nation. Shout out Rogue Nation. I'm just making sure she don't arrest you for something that you didn't do. She did it to me, so I just, I just want to make sure you're safe, bud. I don't want to talk to you either, because she might arrest me for that. Eight four nineteen eighty died. You guys running my information? Danny, can I talk to you? No, nah, I, I really don't want to talk. Okay, listen. I, I don't want to listen either. Okay. Um, I have something that I gotta tell you. I don't want okay. to listen to it. You have a warrant for what? I'm gonna get the charge right now. Mm -hmm. 
but I believe from what I saw, it's failure to pay an infraction or something. It's at a Norwich court. Okay. okay. So you want to bring me down or you want me to go down there? Cause I'll go right now and handle it. I don't really care. And what? Do I got to go down there and handle it? I would like to do it. Okay. Let's go. All right. So I'll take you with me and stuff like that. I'm just going to check you out for weapons, drugs, anything like that. Well, can I just put my bag in my car? Yeah, I'll come All right. with you. All right. Yeah, that's, that's not fair. Yeah, that's cool. Right. What's uh, what's your birthday? Eight four eighty nine. Eight four eighty nine. Yeah. You know what's crazy is I'll, I called I'll court because I well listen, it was court okay. and I was sick yeah. and I called them and they told me it was okay, okay. and now I have a warrant for missing court for like yeah. come on. From my perspective, I'm not totally sure what the, the deal is. So every time I come out, you guys just run my information? Is no. that what you're saying? No. That's what it seems like. That's, that's I showed up on scene what and you ran yourself? my I'll go with you, right? Yep. Yeah, man, just give me one sec. Danny, can you hang out? Yeah, I'm good. I'm not good. Thanks. I ain't no criminal. Station, what's the charge on Kakaska's warrant? Not going to court when they told me I didn't have to go to court. What up, National? I'm getting arrested, bro. Cashier, your 10%. All right, so just to explain it to you, here, let's go. I gotta hey, grab. Can you chill with him? He had a question. So they're gonna give me a thousand dollar bond for that? And here comes the walk of shame, ladies and gentlemen. So it's, um, right, so it's a thousand, so it's cash, surety, or 10%. So 10% meaning. Can I pay can the 10% myself? Dollars. Yep, absolutely. And you can get You know how here. bullshit that this is, dude? You know how bullshit that I have the video, I have it recorded of me talking to court and them telling me it's okay. That they're gonna reschedule it. And show that to the make it the It's I already know who it is. It's the I know you are, it's the BS judge, but how does court how do you call court and they say it's Oh it's okay, we'll fix it. They tell you not to come to court if you're sick, and then you don't go to court because you're sick and now you guys are gonna take my last hundred dollars. So Well you'll be able to get it back when you Well yeah, when six months. I gotta go leave tomorrow to go work out of state. Is that you all the way over there? Yeah, it is. I just want to throw this in there. My money's in yep. there. Oh, I'll tell you right now, ma'am. Nine o'clock on the dot. <laughs> What's crazy is you can't even go out. You go anywhere and they run your stuff anytime. Anytime. America. It's that judge. It's that ugly, fat, Botox judge. She's all mad. And what's crazy is that the hundred dollars that they're taking from me is more than the ticket. That's what's crazy. My last hundred dollars. State of Connecticut. So it's like failure to pay an infraction. Yeah, but it's, if they told me they're going to reschedule the court date because I'm sick. There shouldn't be a failure to pay anything. And after he gets out, he goes on a tirade, blaming everybody involved except for himself. Guys, I just got out. I went to tape. Uh, went to tape uh, the cops at Stop and Shop, and the dude walked up to me. One of the dudes I don't even really like, and was like, "Oh, uh, what's good, Mike? MB, press harder. What's up, guys?" They 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 grabbed me. They said I had a warrant. Because I missed court the other day, last week, when I called and I spoke to court and they told me I was good because I felt like crap. So they said, yeah, don't come in. So that was the day before court. And then when I called the day of court, I got somebody else. They said that they were going to put a note in my file and blah, blah, blah. Just call back that day, which I did. What up, press? You're the man. So... Instead of just giving me another court date, because let's not forget, I had court two weeks before that and and missed work and did all that. And they ended up. I went and the judge was she was out sick so she can be out sick, but I can't doesn't make much sense, does it like literally the same thing everybody's sick right now up here just give me another court date no they literally arrested me they took my last hundred dollars my last hundred dollars like i'm leaving i was supposed to leave for work well i still am i gotta leave for work tomorrow tuesday and i gotta stay out of state till saturday morning and that was my money to do that and now i am literally flat broke but it comes with it uh, 
I guess it was kind of pathetic that it had to go like that. Um, me and that guy, Giller, we, I don't know, we talked about some things. We have been not getting along that much lately. Um, but it was just crazy. Is this coming up? Is this working for YouTube? Yeah, there we go. Cause I'm on restream. So it's a little different, but I mean, it went as easy as it could be. He was all right. He didn't cuff me until we got to the car and then he cuffed me and then he brought me to the station and then he uncuffed me. It took longer than it should have because we were talking. Um, he told me about some things. I told him about how I feel um, and each other's perspectives about things. But in my eyes, it's just BS. You're going to put a warrant out. They put literally put a $1,000 bond on me. Luckily, I had my $100 in my pocket so I could get out of jail. It's just crazy, though. Like, it's literally crazy. He did it the right way, though. He came up to me and was like, oh, can we talk to you? And I told him I didn't want to talk. The live's up. Um, and, oh, you got a warrant. Like, what? A warrant? Then they literally, I had to pay more than the infraction ticket was to begin with. What? It's just madness. It is madness. Like, it's, it's sad to see, too. How is court, how are their clerks going to tell you it's okay and everything's fine and then you do it and then they turn around and put a warrant out for you? Luckily, I have the phone calls to the clerks recorded. Like, it doesn't make much sense. They offered to give me a ride back. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to walk. Plenty of blame to go around, huh? Except for yourself. Let me give you a little secret, Daniel. You'll never be a success in life until you stop blaming others for your failures. Only after you stop blaming others for your failures can you learn from them and improve upon what you did before. If you are unwilling to shoulder your own blame, you will never make it anywhere in your pathetic little life. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. You chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's... It, the whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? have been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before.
You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.